Hello and welcome to my channel, Tony's Cool Tools. If it's your first time, thanks for stopping. I've been making so many review videos that I've neglected my wood yard. And I'm going to rectify that today with the Dream Team, my trifecta for the wood yard. The MS500, 462, and 362. And I'll tell you in my opinion why I feel these three saws are the ultimate in production in your wood yard. And if you stick around to the end, I'll let you know about our Christmas giveaway that we're doing. Well, in my opinion, the two things that you need for production cutting is power and speed. When I'm doing a lot of cutting, I like to use at least two, if not three saws and give a break to each one. And that's more important in the summertime than it is in the wintertime for me. I will say I am very partial to the 500i. I absolutely love that saw, but it is a bit heavy. When you look at the power on these saws, the 500 is 79.2, the 462 is 72.2, and the 362 is 59cc. And the reason I choose this setup is for fatigue. I start out with the 500i. At 14 pounds for the power head, you add another bar, and I'm not using the light bars, I'm using Oregon bars, and you add three about three more pounds onto that, you're somewhere around 17 or more pounds. So I start out with the 500 first. Then I go to the 462, which is about 13 plus pounds on the power head and another three on the bar. And lastly, I go with the 362 with the power head of 12 plus pounds and then another three pounds for the bar as well. And by that time, it's either time for lunch or time for a break. And afterwards, we start all over again with the 500, 462, and 362. Oh, and by the way, I switched to the B84 power cut. I bought a ton of these at the logging show, and they cut awesome. For me and my height, 6'2", I love the 24-inch bars. So all my saws have the 24-inch bar and chain on it. That way I can interchange in case I have a problem in the field and I only have to carry one set of replacement parts as opposed to if I had a 20 inch bar and a 24 inch bar or a 32 inch bar. I keep it all uniform. Though I love wearing leather gloves, I switched to these Arctic Guard gloves by B&G. The inside is not super insulated, but it does work very well for keeping me warm, probably above zero. After that, I got to get something else because it gets too cold. But the dexterity on this is real good. They don't last long, but I only paid, I think, $4 a pair for these. So I bought a bunch of them and they do work well. Just to give you an idea of what I have to do before the snow flies, I have a bunch of ash that I have to cut up so that my 2023 bundle wood is ready by the spring. So I have a couple of piles here. I'm gonna guesstimate I have about a, just under two cord here. All right, let's quit talking and let's move these to the wood yard. I'm gonna use my frostbite grapple to move all these logs. It's a lot easier than the other root grapple that I have.
Well, we've moved our first set of logs here. After we cut those, we'll start on this one. Well, John the logger was very nice to me and brought me a couple extra presents. We have some hickory in this pile, a nice piece of cherry. There's several pieces of cherry in here along with all this ash. Okay, finally ready to cut. Now I can cut this with my MS-261, this whole pile, no problem whatsoever. But it's gonna take me a heck of a lot longer than using my MS-500 and I'll show you. Speed and power is what I'm looking for. And this saw has it. The other thing that's going to save me a whole heck of a lot of time is I'm not marking any of these logs. I'm going to be using the new adjustable pro sizer with the green laser. And I'll show you what difference it makes. I've got all my PPE on. I've warmed up the saw. We're ready to cut. Here we go. Now, though you can't tell, I'm in an incline here. So when I cut, I cut from here and let it roll down. And then I go ahead and move it up. The big thing is I want to keep everything uniform, which the Pro Sizer does. For many of you, it may not make a difference. You cut whatever you cut and you'll burn it. Perception is reality and appearance is very important to me when it comes to the bundles that all of them are equal. And let me show you. Cut. Here's an example of the cuts that I'm getting with the Pro Sizer. Here's that hickory log. Other than the last log, which is short because of the length of the wood, all of them are within a quarter to a half inch of size, 16 inches. So this is the remainder of the pile that we have here. I think we did a little bit less than a half or about a half. I wish there was an easier way of timing the MS-500, either how many cuts that I did or time-wise, but I had to keep changing camera angles and everything else, so I have no clue. But I will tell you, it goes fast, real fast. Two tankfuls of gas should do this pile of logs with no problem at all. I'm talking the MS-500 and the MS-462. I won't even have to crack open the 362. But that'll go for the next pile or the next round of logs that I have in another day or so. Hopefully I showed you that speed and power does make a difference in production cutting. And it's actually a joy to have a fast saw in your hands. 
Okay, I'm sure you've been waiting. Here are the details of the giveaway. We're gonna be giving away one of the new swivel pro sizers with the green laser, just like I've been using on the wood behind me. And you only have to do two things. First, you have to be a subscriber to my channel. And second, I'm gonna be using a random comment picker. So you need to put this in your comment, and that is hashtag prosizer. That's P-R-O-S-I-Z-E-R. -E so you have until Sunday, December the 18th at noon to put your comment in. That's hashtag prosizer, and then I'll pick the winner and advise on my next video. Well, I sure do hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And also give me a thumbs up, please. And remember, pass it forward. Make the world a better place. And don't be a tool. Watch Tony's Cool Tools. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.